So I think at the end of the day, Al Heyman doesn't want this fight. Because Al Heyman is aligned to Showtime and Fox. And there is a situation that this fight, you know, the people that would pay the most money for this fight, the most guaranteed money, is the zone. Al Heyman, for Deontay Wilder to go on the zone, is an absolute nightmare for him. Nightmare. And I don't blame him for that because I've been in a similar situation in my past where I don't I don't want a zone fighter to go on Showtime or Fox. People say, "Oh, that's bad for the sport, mate." That's business. Do you think Do you think Bob Aram wants Lomachenko to go on Fox? We've got a purse bid with Lomachenko against Crawler. If that goes to purse bid and I win, Lomachenko's on zone for that fight. That's a nightmare for top ranking ESPN. That happens, and we may get a position with, in time where Joshua goes to a purse bid and he goes on. Showtime or something like that. That's just the business. But I, you can't say that Al Heyman wants Deontay Wilder to box Joshua on DAZN. Of course he doesn't. He doesn't have to be on DAZN. I'm just saying that they will pay more money than anybody else. So when we look at the financials of the show, when there's a split of a show and there's two fighters owning the financials of a show, the job of a promoter is to maximise the revenue for a fighter. So who's going to pay the most money? It's pretty well, strict. We, I, I heard you say that. Uh, Joshua could fight on other platforms if, if you know yes. it's a bit more yes. to get to yes. get him. Yes. So is it a possibility that we could get it a split like something like Mayweather Pacquiao uh, on the zone? Yeah, but, and I, but the problem Showtime? is when you've got one pay per view platform and one subscription platform, you're paying. If you, if Joshua Wilder lands on the zone, you get it for free as part of your subscription for nine dollars ninety nine a month. If it lands on Showtime, you're paying a hundred dollars for that one fight. Right? So you can't say, well, both run it, because everyone's going to watch it on the Showtime wouldn't have that. Right. We don't. I don't mind that, because I think everyone will watch it on the zone, because it's, it's like $90 cheaper. Right. So, um, I don't know. Well, but I saw, but, but, I saw, but I listen, if Showtime come up with more money than the zone for that fight, we, we can do it on Showtime. But they won't, and they can't. So, and did, did, you, did you underestimate the landscape? of the mar- the market the media market in the states because i saw that when you was, you did an interview and you said that uh uh the, it's totally different you're starting to see that it's totally different you placing know, fights in the states uh it was, uh, what do you it was mean? when you did the uh the car with you was on an interview with cool catches mm-hmm. and you said that you know you're starting to see that it's totally different that you know the fans come in late you know yeah oh yeah sales. i didn't underestimate it I, I was i naive maybe just i was probably a little bit uneducated but you, you learn as you go. You know, you can't just expect to come into a new market and understand how everything works. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not that good, you know. But, like, I'm learning things like fighters aren't aware, sorry, fans aren't necessarily aware of who these fighters are and who is on the card. Kansas was the That's interview the card, you're right. referring to, mm-hmm. right? So we had 4,000 tickets sold in Kansas. Half of them came to watch Nico Hernandez, who was in an eight-rounder. Right, wow. mm-hmm. so he boxed. It went at the top. It went Jarrell Miller, Clarissa Shields, Nico Hernandez. Nico Hernandez boxed. Two thousand people went home. Right before the co-main event and before the main event. Right now, people say, "Well, yeah, well, Jarrell Miller and Clarissa Shields—they're just not big draws." Then it's like they are big draws, but I don't even know if those people knew that there was a couple of fights after that. But when isn't, they go that, to, isn't that the same testament to Deontay Wilder as well, though? Because the market is different, so he can't. He's not doing the same numbers as Anthony Joshua does in, over in the UK. No, he's he's the world heavyweight champion in America. He's good looking, Deontay. <laughs> he's exciting. He's a very good fighter. He has a great backstory, and he's the world heavyweight champion from the US. He should be a walking god in this country. Why do you think he isn't? Because a number of reasons. Boxing.